Hi there, so I'm Jeanette and I'm from Case Flare School and one of the tutors here at the school. So one of the questions I get asked quite a lot is after your training, so when you have completed your training here at Case Flare School, what are the opportunities for you? Another question is, what do our students do when they have completed their training here at the school? What do they go on to do? So first of all, there's four modules here at the school, module one, two, three, and four. And the four modules together, they would give you like your basic training and all your fundamentals for hand type bouquets, flower arranging, wedding floristry, funeral floristry, and event and hotel decoration. So what are the opportunities for you as a florist? Well, some people, <coughs> excuse me, some people attend the school and they just want to do it for pleasure. Yes, we are a commercial school, so as I've said previously, commercialism is more about learning how many flowers do I use, the quantity of material, where can I buy the material wholesale, what's it going to cost, what's the techniques for assembling that arrangement, and what's the selling price. So obviously you're going to be taught that at the school. But some people would like to just learn that end of it, learn the commercial end of it, but just do it for pleasure. So maybe they just want to do flowers for maybe their daughter's wedding or a family member's wedding or maybe do flowers like for Mother's Day for their own family friends, for birthdays, for anniversaries, special occasions, etc. So yes, we would have students who that's what, they, that's what their aim is and that's what they plan to do. They're doing the course for pleasure but they want to learn the commercialism. So that's one opportunity you have. The next opportunity you have is maybe to work from home on a commercial basis. So maybe for people that have young children and they're not ready to actually go out there and into the workplace and get a job in a flower shop, but they'd like something that they could do on a part-time level, they could work it around their kids, they could work it maybe when the kids are in school, and maybe just for busy periods, like say Mother's Day, they could... Um, advertise and do flowers for Mother's Day or Valentine's Day or maybe making holly wreaths for Christmas or maybe taking bookings for weddings. So basically they would like to work from home but on a commercial basis. Obviously they want to know how many flowers, what it's going to cost, what it's going to sell at and the idea is that eventually they're going to make some money at it. So a certain amount of students that's what they want to do is just work from home on a commercial basis. I suppose our most popular would be to get a job in a flower shop. So the majority of the customers, or the majority of our students that attend here at the school, that's what they want to do. They want to get a job in a flower shop. So normally on completion of module four, we try and organize like workplace and work experience. And then we would have flower shops ringing us all the time. We even run a job opportunities button on our website and on Facebook as well. We're constantly posting jobs um, in flower shops. So again, the students, once they've built up their experience, they're able then to apply for an actual job in a flower shop. Sometimes with the jobs, maybe they're looking for a qualified florist. But on your behalf, like I would say to them, well, listen, I have a student that's just completed her four modules. She shows great, great potential. Definitely feels she's going to make it. Obviously, she's slow. She has no confidence. You know, that way she's unsure about things. And obviously, she can't be left to her own device. But maybe take her on on work experience. Give her the opportunity to work for nothing, build up her speed, build up her confidence, watch what's going on, learn some of the tips and techniques that you can only learn on the floor in a flower shop, you're never going to learn on a course. And then they could then hopefully and maybe offer you a job. So the majority of our students, that's what they want to do. They want to work in a flower shop. The other um, opportunity that we would have for our students is to work for an event company. So event companies would be like, say, companies and they just specialize in wedding flowers so I'm not saying all their work would be weekend work but the majority of the work maybe would be around the weekend and again that could suit people where they don't want a nine to five job they don't want Monday to Thursday again maybe people with young kids maybe people that have a part-time job but don't want to give up their job but yes would like to get involved with flowers that's where event flowers event companies are absolutely brilliant the work can be flexible you could be busy one week you could be quiet another week you would know in advance that they have have, say two weddings booked in for next weekend so they're going to be um, really really busy and um, for people that love doing like the larger style arrangements they love doing the arches the moon gates the topi trees candelabras flowers chandeliers well working for an event company is definitely the channel that you should take personally i would love that sort of work and um, something that i worked for worked at myself in the past 
Next opportunity is a freelance florist. So again, you have people who don't want to work at home. They want to get out of the house. They want to get away from their kids. But yet they don't want a full-time job. They don't want to be working for somebody Monday to Friday, nine to five every day. Well, then maybe freelance. And the thing is, flower shops are always looking for staff. Maybe it's staff to cover maternity leave, staff to cover maybe sick leave, extra staff for the busy periods like Valentine's Day, Mother's Day, Christmas, or maybe they have large weddings on. And again, this is where we use the job opportunities button or we advertise it on Facebook. Or there is some um, groups on Facebook that would advertise jobs. I think there's one called Facebook's Help Wanted in Flower Shops. And this is where they would be just looking for somebody to come in for one or two days. And this is, if you're a freelancer, normally what happens is you invoice the flower shop direct yourself and they pay you. So that could suit you. You're working for yourself. The work is like flexible. If you want to work next week, you can. If you don't want to work, absolutely. So freelance can also be a great opportunity. And I suppose the last option, and uh, what some people, not everybody, what some people like to do is they want to work for themselves. They want to open up their own flower shop. They want to open up their own flower business. So again, we would have a lot of students who would go on and that's what they would do, but not straight after the courses. I wouldn't recommend anybody directly straight from training to go and open up their flower shop. Now some people do, but like the thing is, you're not going to have the speed and you're definitely not going to have the experience. Before you would think of opening up your own flower shop, you need to work through the busy periods. You need to work through a Valentine's Day, a Mother's Day, a Christmas, the wedding season, autumnal, Thanksgiving, whatever part of the world that you're coming from. And you also need to work for different flowers because every florist has their own way of doing things. So you go and you work for one florist and like you learn some great tips and techniques from her and you learn some new skills and then you move on and you go and work for a different florist and you learn completely new styles, completely new techniques and everybody has their signature style and this is a way that eventually then you will build up your style. Like do you want to be more vintage? Do you want to be more rustic? You know what I mean? What is your style? So by working for a different flowers, you will build up your own style and plus like things that you can never learn on a course. And um, even though as part of your training, we do obviously dealing with the customer, taking the order, checklists for brides, contracts, pre-questionnaires, we cover all that as part of the course. But in theory, it's not the same when there's a live bride sitting in front of you and you have to ask her these questions or you have to deal with the questions that she's asking you. So you just can't beat the practicality of actually working for somebody else. And I definitely would advise that before people would think of opening up their own business. But again, if you need any more advice on that, feel free to give me a ring here at the school at 01 45 38649. So again, just to go back over, opportunities when you've completed your training, so you can work from home just for pleasure, but just working on a more commercial basis. You could work from home for family and friends, again, on a commercial basis, and the idea is to earn some money at it. You could get a job in a flare shop, so whether it's a part-time job, a full-time job, or a flexible job. You could work for an event company. Some of that work could be a little bit flexible and maybe more um, kind of like seasonal and maybe more around weekend works. So normally it's not a Monday to Friday. You could freelance. So again, for anybody that likes the flexibility of working freelance, working for different types of florists and not always being in the one type of flower shop, freelance is the way for you. And your last option is you can open up your own business. I hope I've answered any questions that you have. But again, go to our website, flowerschoolireland.com or drop me an email, info at flowerschoolireland.com. Thank you for watching.